was stupid enough to listen to him, put on weight, and then he turned around to call her a fat pig. I cried though. I cried. We move. No problem. No problem. Hi people, welcome back to my channel. It's Trisha the Storyteller. Yes, I did not explain who I am. From the channel name, you can tell what I do around here. Yes, I bring you stories so you can learn from it, I can learn from it, so we can talk to each other. So let me commence this video by saying if you're here to sort of throw insults, throw shades, use abusive languages on me or anyone on the comment section, be rest assured that I came prepared. I came ready for you. I am used to trolls like you. So beware and be warned. Yes, so for those who've come to sort of rub minds, let's talk about what's going on and have an adult conversation, a virtual hug to you. Yes, we will talk about it and learn. Now, he was jealous of the new body. Mm, yeah, we said that. He was jealous of the new body. Was he? Let's talk about Chanel, okay? Chanel Boateng. Now, Chanel, my beautiful model, if you come across this video, please permit me to use clips, tiny clips of yours to buttress my points because I need to, I need to hit this home. I need to let people understand that women are special and are not to be taken for granted. Now, I'm not here to take sides with Chana or no, because I don't live with them. Now, a lot of you are going to come and say, do you live with them? You don't know what happened. No, I do not live with them. Huh. I can read in between the lines. Yes, I'm not saying that Chanel is a step. She may have had her issues, her own, because I see Chanel as someone who is set in her ways. She's a very nice person, but you cannot. <laughs> you cannot toy with her, okay? She will put you in your place. And sometimes women need to be like that. We need to be very tough sometimes because I think there's this notion that it's a man's world and sometimes women are taken for granted now we may never ever get to hear from ambrose never he may never come out to make a video explaining his own side of the story but we're going to dissect whatever was said from what chanel boateng told us and you know yeah let's get on with the video let's go for a short break and i'll be right back Yes, welcome back. So Chanel came out uh, not too long ago and made a Q&A and it was a very long one. 40 minutes. 40 minutes, babes. What were you talking about? But anyways, it was very interesting. She had a lot to say about her Patreon page, about her new business, like obviously what's going to happen with the channel going forward, about her new life as a single mom, about her new body, which people are jealous of. People cannot stand the fact that Chanel went from this body to that body. Yes, and that could be one of the reasons. You can already tell from the title of the video that that's what we're going to be talking about. Two things that I'm going to talk about so this video isn't too long. Now, I'm going to insert that part, that little part of the first clip of what Chanel said Listen to her and I'll come expand that a bit more. I changed. I really changed a lot. And I think that changed couldn't be adapted to from the other party. And um, that's where I wouldn't say the problem lied, but unfortunately, if, if we're not gonna be on the same page, um, and I believe wholeheartedly my change was for the good, extremely for the, for the better. I don't think I became, uh, out of control or anything i just became i grew um and i became i blossomed and glowed and 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 and, and it wasn't processed or taken well so yeah chanel said there was a lot of change all right there was a lot of change and he could not cope with the change now let me explain that to you because you can tell that chanel didn't want to go into much details now i think these are insinuations so leave your thoughts in the comment section tell me whether you agree with me or not because i'm married i always say <laughs> marriage is a beautiful thing but do not get it twisted all right yes thank you the thing is i think that there must have been back and forth communications about chanel wanting to you know lose the weight all right 
Now, remember that Chanel is Ghanaian, married to a Nigerian. Now, I'm not saying that Ambrose was bad, but I know that Nigerians <laughs> have a tendency to want to tell their wives what to do, always want to tell their wives what to do. There are a few of them who are enlightened and sort of let their wives be who they want to be, but a lot of them are very controlling, narcissists control freaks now i'm not saying that ambrose is like this like i said we may never get to hear from him but if you listen to her she said i changed i just had to change this meant happiness to me but he could not deal with it this tells you that jealousy yes exists between between spouses take it or leave it some men cannot stand their wives looking good mm, i said that quote me wrong some men cannot stand their wives making more money some men cannot stand their wife rising above them they feel intimidated they always want to be the ones at the top and then they'll come up with stories like oh she never listens to me ever since she started to make money she's become so rude she's become so full of herself now i say again i am not taking sides with chanel but i can read through the lines and i may be wrong but yes these are my thoughts now she may have said i want to lose weight don't forget that she's a mother of two and when she was on the big side now no disrespect to women who are on the bigger side but for health reasons it's advisable that you lose some of that weight now she's the mother of two boys and looking after boys is not a walk in the park it is not my mind in nigeria we say moi moi it is not yes so she needs to be fit and healthy to take care of these boys and she said that i wanted to be better so i decided to lose the weight now i'm thinking that the weight must have been one of the reasons why ambrose may not have okay let me say this another way i read a comment um on the comment section i can put it up here uh, for you to see i don't have it here with me but from the comment someone said that he could not deal with the fact that chanel was changing mentally physically and she said that as well i know of a guy this is a real life story who always used to tell his wife to put on weight oh you are too skinny i like a real african woman with all the curves in the right places and guess what that woman was stupid enough to listen to him put on weight and then he turned around to call her a fat pig now no disrespect to bigger women but i know what i'm talking about and you can see that chanel is so happy with her new body mentally physically she looks happier and she said i am free like a bird to do what i want to do now that is the point i am trying to make now a lot of men think that once their wife you know loses weight and begins to look good she might become promiscuous she might begin to cheat and they begin to have all these insinuations in their head and the moment you pick your bag and you leave the door they call you where are you who are you talking to that drama begins now i'm not saying that women some women are not promiscuous but i don't see chanel as someone who is a promiscuous woman i see her as a girl who loves god yes and who wants to worship god with all her heart now what i see on camera may be different from her lifestyle behind the camera but these are my observations i just feel like she's healthier she's happier she's more prosperous and if you cannot deal with it you don't love her you'd better get her out the door now the next part i'm going to talk about before i round up this video because i don't want it to be too long it's the part where she talked about the church i'm going to insert that clip chanel please one more time permit me and i'll be back to conclude did the church support your divorce i just want to make people guys you know if i've never shared before the church that i met ambrose in i actually left that church just after i had aj um, so that's over five years ago. I haven't been going there. He continued to go there, of course. Um, so in terms of their opinion on our divorce, I have no idea if they even know. And quite frankly, I don't care. Um, whatever. I'm not, I don't go there anymore. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you <laughs> We don't care. You heard from the horse's mouth again. Now, she said she left that church when AJ was born. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. And this is five years on. And she said 
I don't know whether they know about the divorce and, and at this point I don't worth care now if you listen to her carefully you could tell that there was a resentment in her voice when she talked about the church but she didn't want to say much she didn't want to go into much detail yes and that shows maturity now I was also in this setting where once you leave them these churches for instance I'm trying not to go into too much detail if you leave these churches they forget all about you they don't care about your progress they don't care about your family they don't care about anything that concerns you the moment you step out of the church you become an outcast I don't even want to use the word you become an enemy to them because they look at you now as mm, they don't care it happened to me I was there I served a church for 20 years of my life take away 20 years from however old you think I am and when I left that church no one cared about me I had a baby none of them you know so even gave me a call to say, how are you and I'm glad that Chanel discovered herself discovered who she was made herself happier and moved on now Chanel I'm not saying that you are a saint you may have had your shortcomings like you said no one is perfect of which you have said that if you go into another marriage tomorrow there are things to look out for in as much as we may never <laughs> I say never ever get to hear from Ambrose his own side of the story I'm sure that there are things that you Chanel would love to work on would love to change to make sure that you have a better marriage as you have wished for yourself now friends let me know what you think in the comment section do you think that actually Ambrose could not stand the changes the changes that came to Chanel or do you think that there may have been something else that led to this divorce now please go support her patreon page support her merchandise I will also and I will see you in my next video bye for now